Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. How are you all? I hope you're doing very well and everyone is happy. I think this recipe is going to make you even happier if you're happy. And if you're feeling down or anything, you just go to the kitchen and you make this recipe, and I promise it's going to lift your mood. This is French toast. French toast? Dessert for breakfast? Yes! We eat French toast for brunch. Why not eat it for breakfast? And I have it here with a very special sauce, which is toffee sauce, and it just elevates the whole recipe and the whole French toast experience to the next level. Okay, let's see how are we going to prepare this. We're going to start with the sauce. The sauce, I'm going to use whipping cream. Any type of cream is going to work here. Double cream, cooking cream, whatever you have available. Okay, I am going to use some butter as well, brown sugar, and the secret ingredient, molasses or treacle. This will make the tofu sauce even more caramelized and more toffee-like and intense flavor. Okay, so we're going to put the butter, the sugar, the treacle or the molasses all in a saucepan. And I'm going to melt them all together. I just want to melt the sugar and the butter and incorporate everything together. So we're not you do not leave this spot. Like you have to stand by this saucepan while everything is melting because it easily burns. And once everything is melted, once everything is melted, then we will add the cream, okay? So I am making double the amount of what I have written in the description box because I was just making more, but the description box measurements are enough for four toasts. And you can double that as well because this sauce is just really good. <laughs> okay, it's addictive as well. Now I added the cream. I'm going to just mix everything together till everything is incorporated. And once it just starts bubbling, we're going to turn off the stove and we're going to set it aside and we're going to start making the toast itself <laughs> okay so for the toast we are going to use two eggs and I'm saying again this is only for four toasts and a little bit of milk you can also use cream here I'll be adding a little bit of cinnamon ground cinnamon here you can add cloves you can add nutmeg you can add cardamom I think all of this will work very well here okay have some vanilla as well add it in there and I'm not going to add sugar to this mixture usually with French toast you add sugar here at this step but because I'm going to use it with the caramel toffee to uh, sauce so I don't want it to be overly sweet but if you have a sweet tooth go for it Especially that the sugar is going to help with caramelization, the caramelization of the toast and the color and like all of these kind of nice things. But I would say just keep the sugar out. <laughs> okay, I tried to get some store bought um, toast or loaf, but I was not really happy with it because see, I like my French toast to be very thick, the slice to be thick. So in here, I made my own loaf and I'm going to cut it um, like how I like it. So like the thicker, the better. Okay. Um, I obviously made it like from the day before because French toast works very well with the day old bread. So if you even buy it from, from the store, maybe just leave it a day for a day before you make the French toast because it will just be even better it will soak the the eggs and the milk better it will soak the sauce better everything will just be amazing okay on us on a pan add the butter in there while it's melting we are going to just dip our toast into the egg and milk mixture i don't want it to leave it there for long it's just dipping to coat because you don't want your french toast to end up being soggy in the middle or burned on the outside and soggy in the middle so this is what you're going to do around like three four rounds of the toast and the eggs and milk and then bam into the um, butter it goes <laughs> okay it usually doesn't take long 
So once you put it in the butter, it will take around two to three minutes, depends on the heat. I'm using medium heat here, and I think it went for three to four minutes. So you can also turn the heat down a little bit and go for five minutes, but I don't think it's necessary. So after three or four minutes, you can just uh, flip the, the toast itself. Uh, you can also check for the color. If it reaches the color that you, you like, then you can just flip it. Once you turn it to the other side, you're going to go for the same amount of time. So three minutes and check for the doneness, the color, and it won't take long. Like if you're using high heat, I wouldn't recommend high heat, but if you're using high heat, it will be like only two minutes per side. Okay. And once it's done, you are just going to take it out on um, plates with, lined with um, kitchen rolls. I like to put it in a kitchen roll just to, for five minutes, not, not for long, because I still want it to be to keep it scrunched, but also get, excess, get rid of the excess butter. Okay, and after that five minutes, you're just going to drizzle the nice toffee sauce on top. And with this sauce, it's really addictive, as I said. Um, you can go for a lot and you can go for a little bit it depends on how much of a shoot like two uh, sweet tooth you have okay um and here you have it very nice breakfast very filling you can add fruits you can add i think i would recommend berries or bananas i think bananas would be really nice i'm not a big fan of bananas but i think it would be really nice so a uh, nice addition here Okay, and this is your fresh toast. I hope you really, really, really try this, especially with the sauce, because it's just a very nice addition to it. And if you do, and if you like this video, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.